what's up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be doing a base my baseball gear bag review well i guess not really a review a review but just what i have in my gear bag now this video isn't really something that i have done before but if you watch my videos you know that i love baseball i make plenty of baseball shorts but this will be my first really good decently sized video so i hope you guys like it please give it a like if you enjoy it but if you don't like it go ahead and dislike it but just let me know in the comments what i can do to be better all right now getting into the actual bag starting with my boomba bag it is a humongous bag as you can see we'll just say that okay starting off with the top pocket i have my mask because COVID, that sucks. Gotta wear it. Stay safe out there, guys. Next up, we have the small pocket in the front. I just have lots of quarters because that's all the vending machine gives me at our baseball facility. Not any other change, just quarters. All right, now we're going to get into the actual bag. So starting off, we have my old glove. Um, Good old trusty Marucci glove. Very broken in, as you can see. Very old. Um, I did not form this one well, as you can see. It is has a very bad fold. It should be like this, more like that. But I accidentally made it like that. Next, we have my Lizard Skins glove wrap. It is extremely convenient. Normally, I have normally I have my glove in this. But for video purposes, for convenience, I don't. So it's got a small plastic little base on here. You set your glove down on it and you wrap it around. But, but the cool thing is it's got a little adjuster here. So you can kind of adjust the heights based on what you want to form your glove to be. Now, the good old glove, the one that I got for my birthday, still forming it, is the Wilson A2000 very nice i love it it's awesome i got this i got uh, the thumb pulled it out but i still need to get the pinky but it's very good it's not formed quite as well as i want yet well not for me it's formed well but it needs to be more broken in so that is why i have my glove breaker inner bat hitter thing don't know what it's called Please don't ask it in the comments because I will not have an answer. So you just kind of hit it in all the areas that you want to break it in. Just a little tip, good way to break in your glove. Lay it down flat on the ground and crease it how you want to. And then hit the crease right here on both sides a lot. It will soften it up immediately and it will help very much with forming. Next we have my old Marucci batting gloves. Dirty as you can see. Um got some good old holes in it but the good thing is we have these my new baseball gloves that i got for christmas with my team colors the new merch gloves they are brand new haven't been used yet so i am waiting for the season to start to get them going now i have my merch elbow guard very cool it goes well with the white arm sleeve that i have actually well let me say that again I don't have it right now. I accidentally lost it, so I gotta get one off of Nike, but normally I wear a, a wide arm sleeve and it goes really well with that. So, it's a great um, elbow protector. Next, the big boy, we got my helmet. It's a Marucci helmet, the new 2021 version. It already comes with a chin guard, so you don't have to buy an extra one. And it's very cool, I will say. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Next, we have the good old bat. My main bat is the Marucci Cat 9, the one piece. I've used one piece my whole life. Never really liked the composites or two pieces. I don't know why. It just hadn't appealed to me. But yeah, I got the one piece. It's a 30 drop 8. Yes, I know it's a drop 8. I'm in 13 U. I can't swing a drop 5. I'm sorry. And my wood bat is the Chase Utley 26 Marucci model. I'm not a fan of Chase Utley, don't hate him, don't love him, but this is the bat that worked for me. And just if you're wondering, 
all these marks on it. That's from hitting the bottom of my spikes to get the dirt off. Yeah. Don't do that or else it wouldn't ruin your wood bat. Next we have what makes everyone look good and spicy. Got the eye black. Kind of look good. Put it on looking drippy. Try out all kinds of different eye black designs. I definitely would recommend just like a good kind of like that. And then put a few lines and smudge it. Just the good old classic one. Definitely looks good with good colorful sunglasses. Speaking of sunglasses, I have the blenders. Don't know the specific kind, but they are the blenders. This is their logo if you're looking for them. Um, they are super good looking. Mine um, are like a kind of pink, yellow, orange kind of color scheme. Looks very good. I will pop up a few pictures of me and some games with them on because it looks really good. Next, my hat. This is my fall hat. Um, it is the red one for my team, but for the spring, we're going to get some blue ones, and it's going to be looking now for the moment you've all been waiting for the cleats. I have the Nike Alpha Hirashi. Hirachi? Hirashi? Let me know in the comments how to pronounce it. Um, Nike Alpha Hirashi Mid 3. Um, it's a very good looking spike. Um, and you have the Velcro. I don't have the laces on them right now because I've been cleaning them. But they will go on by uh, springtime, don't you worry. Next we have my backup sunglasses. They're not as good looking. They're still pretty good. They're the Marucci glasses. They The green color helps for, with outfielders because I'm an outfielder and it gives a good, more clear view of the ball. They are green and blue. I think they look pretty good. They're just a little small and a little bit too rounded for my liking, but they're good backup and they definitely help you see the ball well. I forgot to say earlier, these blenders are polarized, so that is a plus. And blenders, man, they are cheap for good polarized sunglasses. I'd say they're better than Oakley's and they're like 60 bucks. It's amazing. I would definitely recommend some. Not sponsored though. Blenders, can you sponsor me please? Guys, thank you again for coming in to watch and... This is my first long video, so let me know what you think of it. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.